There's many times when you're doing light pruning and crown lifting where you don't need to climb a tree. You can do it with a pole pruner or on ladders. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at the Jameson kit that Kama sent out 12 months ago. So into the specs, Jameson have been making pole pruners for years and years. There's three different types or three kind of kits, three areas of poles that you want to look at and they're all uh, coloured accordingly. There's yellow, blue and green. I have the blue ones which is the BL series. In the BL series there's a number of different kits you can get. It comes with a, the PS3 FP pole saw head which you can attach it's basically a hook and you can um, attach a 16 inch blade to that it's a tri-cut blade it's similar to what you'd have on a on the hand saws it comes with one six foot base pole and two ex two extension poles which are also six foot the base pole's got um like a rubber grommet on the bottom which just stops the end getting all mashed up uh, the hollow core the 0.75 inch uh, wall thickness and uh, the actual pole diameter is 1.25 inch kit out of the box is really straightforward to set up just a simple case of clipping the attachments in putting your poles together and feeding the, the blue string through the two pulleys for the pole pruner my only criticism really when it out of the box was the fact that there wasn't a scabbard provided for the saw which i felt was Bit of a, maybe a bit of an oversight you can buy them separate um, which I think is worth the investment you can get a, a leather one I think they're around £36 RRP in the UK I think that would be something worth getting in addition to the kit the last thing you want to do is be cutting yourself on one of these hand saws the lightweight fiberglass poles you know they're easy to control they've got a, a really good high gloss blue finish that prevents the fiberglass from uh, what you call blooming where it kind of snaps off and you know that's when you get the, the really bad cuts in your hands what was really impressed with was the uh, connectors at the end they're universal so that you can connect you know, the pole pruner the saw head and you can also get the uh, the big shot for it as well they're all universal connectors that you can just, just pop on really easy and they're also not flimsy you can tell they're going to last a good while changing heads on the poles is super easy it's just a case of lifting the metal flap up and it just slide out the same being when you're attaching them, the flap just folds back in and there's a little pin that sits inside the different heads, whether that's the pruning head, the saw head or a big shot. When you first use it, you can see the build quality straight away. It's miles apart from some of the cheaper offerings that you can get on the likes of Amazon and eBay. This is a, definitely a different league. This is the first time that I've used fiberglass poles and I, I must be honest, I was concerned that it would shatter and break and you get these really awful splinters that I've seen on um, older poles and especially in utility work. That's not happened at all. The, the enamel coated on them is really strong and they have been dropped and knocked in, in the van and on site, that sort of thing. And there's no damage whatsoever on them over the last 12 months of use. The BL series are batch tested to 100 kV per foot for five minutes, but they're not for use on live power lines. These ones aren't safe for utility or power line work. If you want the, the foam filled ones, you need to look for the JE series. Pole pruning head is where this kit really shines. It's built really well, cuts effortlessly through small diameter branches, and it's just really versatile. Even at the, you know, the three extensions, the, the three six foot poles, it still works really well. And you really got that leverage with the two pulleys where you can cut through the branches really easy. Both the pruner head and the saw head work really well at full extension with the three poles. I think if you was to purchase any more obviously you could connect those and make it go higher but um, I think you'd lose one the string wouldn't be long enough on the uh, pole pruner head but I think you'd you you'd create too much bend in the poles and I don't think it'd be safe to use really so keeping it at two is best I found. Um, if you put the third one you need to, it's, it's not a problem, but obviously the diameter of branches you want to cut uh, needs to be smaller to do it effectively. 
a little hook on the pruning saw was something that I thought initially would get caught quite a lot when you're uh, trying to get the pole into the tree. But it, it didn't get in the way at all. I tried the, the actual saw head on both ways so that the hook was on the back or the front. It didn't cause any issues at all. To be honest, we actually used the hook on its own a few times to uh, pull DT lines out the way when we was knocking branches out of the tree. We made a climb in the tree and that, that really helped actually. It, it meant that we weren't going to damage the BT lines. All the parts can be bought separate so you can always buy the separate bits that you want or buy a kit and if something does happen to break you can easily replace it instead of buying the whole kit again which I think long term uh, on the van and for a team is, is really good because inevitably you know something's going to break or get lost and um, I think it's really good that you can just buy the, the separate parts and buy the parts that you need not anything that you don't need. Another thing what I think would be good would be to have a, a bag, like a storage bag to keep it all in. It would make it a lot easier packing it away and making sure you don't lose any bits. So my conclusion really of the Jameson kit is that they're absolutely fantastic. I'd like to thank Jameson for sending this pole kit out. It's been fantastic over the last 12 months of using it. I've not really got any complaints at all. It's been really nice to use and it's been a far cry away from some of the, the cheaper versions of poles pruners out there. You can tell this is robust well worth the money and it's going to last a long time thanks for watching everyone check the links in the description to find out any more information there's lots of information on the jameson website for these polls and the other kits that they provide and please check out my other videos for other product reviews see you in the next one